Egypt. We've all heard of dry January or Stoptober, but how about scroll-free September? Well, social media users are being urged to go cold turkey for a month, starting tomorrow, and take back control of the technology in their lives. But could you live without Facebook, Twitter or Instagram? Well, one person who says no is pop star Sara Alto, who says she couldn't survive without her social media. Well, she joins me now, along with Tanya Godin, a self-proclaimed digital detox evangelist. Um, so I'm going to start with you then, Tanya. Um, have you seen the 21st century? Do you think it would be possible for people to give up something like social media? I mean, tell us first of all how this, how this scroll-free September is going to work. Um, well, I, I just want to say that I worked in tech for 20 years. Oh. So, yeah, so I do, I do know all about the attractions of social media and I use it myself. I think scroll-free September is about us all just trying to put it down for a bit. Um, lots of different ways to do that. We can maybe go completely cold turkey and not use it at all, or we can not use it in the evenings, or maybe keep social media off our phones when we're with our friends. So I think everyone just needs to give it a go because we're all spending too much time on screens. I mean, why, 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 do people, why do you think people should give it a go? What, what are the damages, the concerns, the health worries when it comes to people using social media? Well, we do know a lot about some of the social um, impacts of using screens too early. There are issues around literacy for children. Um, we know that sleep and screens are linked. Uh, I think the NHS said this generation was the most sleep deprived ever. And of course, there's all the mental health issues mm. um, to do with, you know, kind of FOMO, the comparison issues with a platform like Instagram um, and just, you know, general happiness levels when we're spending too much time online. So, Sarah. Could that convince you to maybe try giving giving up social media? <laughs> I would love to try. <laughs> and I'm actually, I am trying, but it's just so hard. Like, I'm starting my tour in October in the UK. And, you know, social media is free promotion. You know, I, I have to be there and telling people about what I'm doing. So, uh, but of course, I could try to <laughs> reduce it a <laughs> little. So, so, how much do you use social media? Are we talking <laughs> first thing in the morning, last thing at night? <laughs> Talk to me. Oh, <laughs> I would want to lie. Oh, God. But yeah, I, it's, it's too much. It is, honestly. And I, I, I tell myself that, oh, no, it's OK. And then my fiancé is like, Zara, you really need to, <laughs> need to reduce it. Because it is, it is true. Like when I wake up, I just I, I, I go online and I and I and I see what's going on and what to post, and I I'm I, I'm always thinking about it, like what to do next on social media. Mm -hmm. Because when you are an artist, you have to do that mm -hmm. every day. You have to be an artist twenty four seven. It's exhausting. It is, but. That's life nowadays. I mean, she's making a good point. There are the negatives of social media, but there are also positives. As she's saying, it helps build her brand. There are people out there who want to connect with stars and celebrities, people out there just want to connect with any day members of the public that they feel that they can relate to. So there can be positives when it comes to using social media as well, surely. Absolutely. There are lots of benefits, um, but I think... I think we would all agree, wouldn't we, that we're just using it too much. And most of us are not like Sarah, you know, we're not online brands. We're not communicating all the while with our fans and followers. We're just ordinary individuals. And I just think it's gone a little bit too far. I mean, really quickly, Sarah, do you think you could give it up for a day, two, a week? Well, yeah. Actually, I'm going to a retreat in a week and I have to give up my phone for two days. Okay. And I don't know what's going to happen. I probably... You're going to love it. <laughs> I, I am going to love it. Good luck. Let us know how yeah. you go. So that's about how the shakes go as well. <laughs> Sarah and Tanya, good talking.